assalamu alaikum uh, topic of today's video is he under this topic we are going to learn these things and we will explain these points uh, array representation of binary tree bt means binary tree complete binary tree heap how to insert and delete in heap then heap sort this is uh, one of the important topics uh, then heapify this is one of the famous algorithm for creating heaps i will discuss this uh, then heaps are famous for being used as priority queues so we will learn about priority queues as well uh, array representation of binary tree is the first topic uh, for storing a binary tree in array we have to take care of two things elements and their relationship the relationship between them is who is the parent who is the child which one is the left child and which is the right child we have to take care about this relationship uh, and the uh, uh, how they are preserved watch here these are the examples the tree is filled level by level level 0 level 1 level 2 then where is the relationship um, this is the tree this is the array and if you closely watch, we have two type of indexes in red and blue. The red one, uh, as you all know that in programming languages, the index start from zero, but these are the theoretical things. So we will start the index from one. So watch the blue indexes. Let me cut these red indexes for the calculations. These, this is the uh, tree filled level by level. Where is the uh, relationship? The relationship is formed by these formulas. So what is these formulas? Let us look at them. Uh, these tell us that first one is a node is at index i. If a node is at index i, its left child will be at 2i. 2i means to multiply by the index. And the right child will be 2i plus 1 means uh, 2 multiplied by i plus 1. And the parent of the in, uh, node will be i divided by 2 and the floor function. You remember the floor function. Floor function tells us that if you have 3.5 or 3.7 or 3.2 then we will take it. We, we will take the 3 part. It means it will not be 3.7 rounded to 4 but 3.7 rounded to 3. Uh, let us explain this these formula uh, formulas. This is our uh, tree. Um, let me clean one. Tree. We have this A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And the indexes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, for, do, for first thing we will have, let's, let's say we will check the index of I, C. C is at 3 in I is 3, okay. Uh, C is at 3. What will, where will be its left child? It will be at, left one A will be at 3 multiplied by 2, okay. Uh, this will be 6 and where will be its right? That will be at 6 plus 1 that will be at 7 so our c is at 3 this is 3 and its left will be 6 left will be 6 that is f and check it it is f and right will be 7 and this is 7 g 7 okay so if we want to check the parent of g what is the index it is 7 divided by 2 the ceiling function and it will be 3.5 3 so the parent of g will be at 3 and that is c okay g parent c so the formula say that if you want to check a node at index i then how to calculate its left child it will be a 2i and how to calculate its right child it will be at 2i plus 1 and the parent will be ceiling function ceiling of i divided by 2 actually these items are stored by following these formulas but we cannot always use the formula so what we actually do is we fill the tree level by level and the level you will then if we want to represent that in array then we will uh, fill the array level by level like this a here 
B C the hair D E F G hair. Okay. Then the second example closely look at this A hair B hair C hair D hair E hair. Let us um, as a result the formula is followed uh, automatically. Let us check another example A. Let us make this array A B C D E. If you check this, this is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we have done this. A here, B here, C here, D here, E here. But check this one. Parent of four. That will be four divided by two. That is two. Parent of four uh, D is B. Is it true? No, this is wrong. So what we do, what we actually do, we fill level by level. We fill level by level, we fill the uh, area level by level and where we have no child, then we put a blank in our array. I am filling the uh, this uh, uh, tree level by level and where I, for, uh, I uh, put, um, where I find no child, what we, I do, I put a blank in my array. So, zero. At, at index 1, we have A. At index 2, we have B. At index 3, we have C. At index 4, the parent, the child of B, left child of B, which is nothing. So, we put a blank here. Then at index 5, the ch right child of B, which is no nothing. So, we put a blank here. Then the left child of C and the right child of C. Uh, how uh, th this if you do this in this way we can use the formula as well as we uh, fill it automatically what we do we fill level by level plus where we find no child what we do we put a blank instead in, in the place of missing child and a gap here we have a gap so we put a gap or a blank in our array this is an important point. We have to put a blank in array for children which are not there. Okay. A, B, C, blank, blank, D, E. So, blank will be put, put here. Okay. This is how you represent a binary tree in array. How you do that? You put uh, all the elements in array level by level by using these formulas but if you put them in uh, as uh, level by level then automatically these formulas will be followed and where you find no child what you do you simply put a blank instead of those children okay i hope you uh, get uh, uh, this clear if you have any question you can ask me next in next video we will discuss complete binary tree from, uh, from uh, uh, if you have any question then you can ask me in the comment section or in the whatsapp group thank you so much